Okay, it's time to talk about the uh, adrenal drugs and uh, adrenal glucocorticoids, which are a group of steroids. Um, we'll talk about the corticosteroids, which are produced by the uh, adrenal cortex. Um, we're going to talk about cortisol, and we'll talk about how uh, the uh, corticosteroids are involved in the uh, stress response and the immune response and uh, its role in inflammation, carbohydrate metabolism, protein catabolism and blood electrolyte levels and behavior and uh, how patients who patients present uh, with um, Addison's disease or uh, Cushing's disease and uh, uh, the processes involved uh, in and the, uh, the medications used uh, to help these patients. Okay, so we're going to talk about the use of corticosteroids and and uh, uh, how they're used uh, to uh, uh, to fight a number of conditions in the body uh, and uh, particularly um, immunologic. Uh, uh, disorders and inflammatory conditions, arthritis, dermatitis, uh, lupus, uh, Crohn's disease, inflammatory bowel disease, asthma, hepatitis, and uh, how they may be used. Uh, one example of how they're used, of course, is using cortisol in orthopedics. Uh, cortisol would be uh, injected into the uh, directly into a joint to reduce inflammation. And medrol, uh, a medrol dose pack is often prescribed for uh, chronic back pain. That's one example of how cortisol is used. Okay, so when should we not use corticosteroids? So we should not use uh, corticosteroids uh, for fungal infections, thrush, vaginal yeast infections, uh, clients who are at a high risk. Uh, for infections such as those with diabetes, peptic ulcers, hypertension, uh, CHF, and renal failure. Okay, so how it can be, uh, how can these corticosteroids be uh, administered? So, uh, topically for skin rashes with hydrocortisone cream, uh, for those with asthma um, or COPD that can be inhaled. Uh, eye drops, ear drops, uh, cortisone, ear drops, prednisone, ophthalmic ear uh, suspension, tablet or liquid form would be prednisone, decadron, uh, in many forms uh, you can see these corticosteroids being applied. Okay, so the uh, goals of the therapy for corticosteroid application is to uh, reduce the symptoms to a tolerable level and to avoid uh, the adverse effects um, and uh, the total suppression of the symptoms may require excessive dosages. So uh, then we must think about uh, the adverse effects. So the major goal here is to in, uh, suppress inflammation and uh, suppress the immune response, uh, uh, and uh, the adverse reaction may include. Uh, depression, euphoria, hypertension, uh, peptic ulcer, uh, thromboembolism, and uh, Cushingoid uh, appearance uh, to resemble uh, Cushing's disease. Okay, so we're just going to read off the, uh, uh, the way that you would take PO prednisone. So you would take this with a meal or a snack to decrease the intestinal upset and avoiding uh, consuming grapefruit juice because this would uh, make it ineffective. So if once a day dosing, take it in the morning before 9 a.m. and if more than once daily, be sure to space it evenly. Uh, and for long-term usage, you may need to take it every other day in the morning so natural production is not uh, uh, totally uh, suppressed. So side effects. So we said there may be uh, Cushing's disease-like uh, effects from these corticosteroids. Um, 
such as if you're taking prednisone and you have the moon phase, buffalo hump, um, obese trunk, uh, love handles, acne, irritism, you might have hair on the face, uh, weight gain, <clears throat> impaired uh, healing of bruising, and a CNS, uh, nervousness, insomnia, depression, aggravation of pre-existing mental disorders, musculoskeletal long-term use can cause osteoporosis, muscle weaknesses, and atrophy. GI, peptic ulcer, increased appetite, cardiovascular fluid, fluid retention, and oculi might have increased ocular pressure, glaucoma, and cataract. So a long list. Um, these things we must uh, be aware of. And so the, uh, the thing you most often hear about or see is moon face um, from corticosteroid use. And it, uh, uh, this is something that you can associate with uh, Cushing's disease. So continuing on and talking about the adrenal cortex and uh, of what we're going to see, uh, for example, when the when there is ACTH hypersecretion or hyposecretion, we would see either uh, Cushing's disease or uh, Addison's disease. A Cushing's disease when there is uh, hypersecretion, and in order to repair this, then there would have to be uh, surgery to remove the uh, pituitary gland um, abnormality um, and uh, in order to inhibit the adrenal secretion you would give ketoconazole which is also ketoconazole is uh, a drug um, for fungal infections but also works here in order to uh, inhibit the adrenal secretion and for uh, the uh, treatment uh, could also give antihypertensives. On the other side, uh, for um, Addison's disease, where um, you're not having enough cortisol, in this case, um, replacement therapy is indicated, such as using cortisol or uh, hydrocortisone or fludrocortisone. So uh, there we have it for uh, Cushing's and Addison's. So we're, we've covered the basic topics, uh, the basics uh, regarding the uh, glucocorticoids and the uh, ACTH, the uh, secretion from the um, uh, the uh, from the brain uh, from the anterior uh, pituitary gland. <laughs>